The Pennsylvania State University is a public research intensive university with campuses and facilities throughout Pennsylvania. Founded in 1855, the university has a stated threefold mission of teaching, research, and public service. Penn State is the home of Dr. Malik Demerel. For the last 20 years, Professor Demerel and his research team have focused on developing functional nanoscale biomimetic materials. Biomimetics is recreating something found in nature. His team has designed, fabricated, and synthesized advanced materials by studying the functional transitions of biomimetic systems, both computationally and experimentally. Squid have evolved to have teeth inside their suckers, which serve to strongly attach the squid to its prey. Squid ring teeth, or SRT, are comprised of a structural protein that can be extracted from tentacles of squid suction cups. The protein exhibits an unusual and reversible transition from a solid to a rubber and can be thermally shaped into any 3D geometry. Natural materials have been a fundamental part of human life since the dawn of civilization. However, due to exploitation of natural resources and cost issues, synthetic materials have replaced bio-derived materials in the last century. Recent advances in bio and nanotechnologies are paving the way for developing eco-friendly materials. These materials could be produced easily from renewable resources at reduced cost and in a broad array of useful applications. To investigate the genetic basis of material properties in natural and artificial squid ring teeth sequences, we have developed a new approach for the design and production of structural proteins. We're using the tools of molecular biology to produce the synthetic structural proteins. Proteins are heteropolymers that provide a variety of building blocks for designing biological materials. Proteins have several advantages as natural materials, such as their chain length, sequence, and stereochemistry can be easily controlled. The molecular structure of proteins is well defined. They provide a variety of functional chemistries for conjugation to other biomolecules or polymers, and they can be designed to exhibit a variety of physical properties. Proteins are diverse but often display substantial similarity in sequence and 3D structure. Proteins are key to the creation of many new high-strength materials. Synthetic structural proteins are manufactured using industrial biotechnology. We are producing structural proteins at Penn State's fermentation facilities using bacteria and yeast. Our structural proteins have been shown to have excellent mechanical properties in wet and dry conditions. They have the unique capability of being thermally remodeled into various functional forms such as films, foams, and fibers as used in multiple applications in cosmetics, medicine, textiles, and packaging. Design of novel biomimetic materials might be based on an existing architecture like the amount of crystallinity or the arrangement of domains, a chemical composition like crystalline block chemistry, or a switching mechanism in thermomechanical properties that can influence mechanical forces during material assembly. We were able to cut a sample in half and repair it by applying pressure and warm water. Supramolecular chemistry provides self-assembly to achieve stiff self-healing morphology with soft and hard domain separation. The underlying mechanism for self-healing is the protein's ability to deform and soften in water above its rubbery temperature while maintaining the hydrogen bonds reversibly. Self-healing structural proteins provide not only high-strength polymeric materials, but will also help the discovery of novel proteins for clinical applications. Together with Dr. Benjamin Allen, Research Associate in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, and the Huck Institutes, the Demerol group has made varying lengths of amino acid strings and found that in the synthetic material, toughness and extensibility increase as the molecular weight increases. The longer the polypeptide chain, the greater the molecular weight. They also found that the balance between elasticity, how much the material will stretch without deforming, and plasticity, the point at which it will deform, remain unchanged. We demonstrated a self-healing feature of multilayers made of structural proteins by polyelectrolyte layer by layer. We also show that these protein multilayers are mechanically stable and functional biomolecules can easily be introduced into them without affecting their functionalities. This opens the door to use protein-based multilayers and films to be used as complex functional materials for fabrics. These results clearly show the self-healing feature of the multilayers and their improved mechanical properties compared to the conventional textiles such as cotton and wool.